Hey friends, this is Mr. V here, uh, really doing my first um, online training uh, for our Perkins Virtual Orchestra. So for this training you need your Essential Elements book um, in order to follow along. So if I were you, I'd take a moment and pause this video and go grab your book. I'll wait. All right, so assuming you have your book and you're sitting by either your computer or a tablet, laptop, I think even a phone would work that's connected to the internet, you will need to uh, turn to the very back page of your book. And on the very back, you've got a web address at the top left. It's right underneath that silver square with the black triangle inside. It says www.myeelibrary.com. Go ahead and put that into your browser. And it goes right to that page. And obviously what you're seeing is sort of a activation screen. Um, you don't need to put in any email address or pay any money. This is all sort of part of the service of having this book. Um, but it's really super cool. Um, you can see here in the welcome screen, enter your student activation code from page one. Well, turn your book over, open up it to page one. It's kind of on the opposite page of the practice log. Um, right there on at the bottom there, underneath that big yellow square of information, it says student activation code. And there are 16 digits there to put in. So go ahead and start putting in your activation code. I'm going to put in mine. Six four seven five zero oh, three four two seven two four zero. And before you hit enter, just hit the remember my code. That way, you don't have to put that code in every single time. So then we're going to click the enter button, and you can see what happens is it takes us into the music library of Essential Elements. And this is a fantastic tool um, if you're working on a piece of music in the book and you're not really sure uh, how it goes. And so just uh, clicking around on any of these songs, we'll click on, uh, say, Good King Wenceslas. This little uh, player pops up. Hit the play button. 20. Good King Wenceslas. Adjust your volume if needed, louder or softer. And you're in. And then they'll do it a second time without the melody, just the accompaniment. And obviously, if you want to start it over, uh, you do have to close this window out and open it back up, and you can see that it starts over. This little area here is to download. Um, I don't really like downloading stuff to my computer. It just takes up space. If I'm connected to the internet, I can stream it. But if you want to download it to the device, that way you don't have to be online. Uh, if, you know, you're on a phone and you want to be somewhere else where you don't have internet connection, um, then obviously you might want to download it. But I think streaming works the best. You might notice this page only ends at uh, number 41 Jingle Bells, but if you click up here at the top, you can see it goes to multiple pages of music all the way to page 5, which really kind of gets us to the very end of the book, which is kind of cool. Um, there's also up here some videos, there's some additional music to listen to, there's a listening library, but I think the main thing you're going to use is this play along. Um, you know, so imagine you're, you're working on a song, let's say I'm uh, one of my violinists in fifth grade, uh, Ella, just got done working on the Banana Boat song, right? So one of the things that listening to music does is it helps you learn the rhythms and the notes, and so just listening to the song a bunch of times, listening to the recording, uh, you know, saying the note names, trying to understand the rhythm of the song with the note names is key before you even pick up your uh, instrument. And once you think you've got the hang of it, and then go ahead and pick your instrument up and start to try and figure out the fingerings and the bowings and how the mechanics of the song is going to work. This is where obviously you're going to log some practice time for sure. 
And then when you think you got the hang of it, put the recording back on and play along with it and make sure that everything sounds as it should. And if it does and you think you're ready to roll, you can move on to the next stage of making a recording of yourself, sending it to me, and then I listen to it, and I go ahead and decide how many miles you've earned for your music marathon toward your end of the year award, which we're still going to do. So that's going to be on another video, um, but we're going to conclude this video because I think that's enough information for this one about the essential elements, my library component of the book. Pretty awesome, and I'll talk to you guys soon.